Okay, looks like we are online on Facebook. Just got a notification. Did everyone else get their notification? Are we live yet on YouTube? Okay, I think we're live on YouTube. So welcome everyone. Uh, I did go a few minutes early. I'm sitting here just waiting. So I thought, why not? Let me get rid of this. Oh, my hair. Why not just come? I'm just waiting for the minutes to go by for it to be on time. Hey, Bobby. Um, so today I have something different. It's a fun project. And I thought we were going to need glue. We will need glue on one of them. But it's not necessary on the other, I think. You can glue it, but I thought it'd be better not to glue it. You guys have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? No. Um, so I'm just gonna show you. So for those of you, we are doing, we're on day nine of the 12 days of Christmas. You know, we're just a day behind because of technical difficulties. We might have to skip another day because I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. Um, but today and tomorrow is going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully tomorrow happens because I'm still designing and test cutting and everything. So I need time to do that. And my son thinks he can spend time with me too. He's working right now because I'm working. All right. Are you guys ready to see what we're doing? For those of you watching on Facebook and Twitch on the screen, you see the chat from YouTube. If you want to be on the screen chatting, you have to come over to youtube.com slash Melody Lane. And here we go. Huh. I want to show more of my screen. Why? I didn't check this. This is what I just had a few minutes ago, but I want to show you guys more. So let me move this. There's a little more. Sorry, guys. Move my Alexa out of the way. Okay, that's good enough for now. Okay, so what we're making is, this is with the Damask chipboard. And I just showed you guys another video. Some of you may have missed it. Um, this is the Mystic Embossed Foil. And I was just thinking, this stuff's on sale for 50% off. If you're going to grab some, grab this and grab some of this chipboard if you have the maker and knife blade. Um, this would be really pretty on top of this. So this one, I know I may not be making sense at the moment. I will explain it all. So this is a chipboard tree and it stands like this, stands up and it holds an ornament right here. So we're gonna hang an ornament from that. But I made a layer that you can cut this out of anything you want. And I'm like, wouldn't it be cool? It wouldn't be traditional, but it would be cool in my house cut out of this teal embossed foiled paper and put on here. I didn't think of that until like 10 minutes ago. But that would be cool on that. And then I just uh, added some stars to the file too, just to add some stars. And I got more ideas too to show you. And then this one, but okay, wait, look at this paper. And I'm using this paper tomorrow in my project. Look at that. I'm using this one. It's gonna be snow. I'm having teal and pink and purple, well, teal and purple and green snow in my project tomorrow. And my trees are gonna look like this. Okay. Now for today's project. Oh, hold on, I'm so sorry. Let me make sure I can see all of you guys on Facebook and YouTube. Hello to everybody on Facebook. I can see your chat and I can see your chat on YouTube. If you have questions, please ask them. Please, if you're on Facebook, well, on YouTube too, please share my video so others that you think might like it, we'll share it. You can share it in my groups. My assistant is not here to do that today. She, uh, this is her early day. And she's gonna be gone tomorrow. 
Okay, let's get this out of the way. Now I can't see what I'm doing in the video. I gotta make sure you guys can see. Okay, we got it. Hi, Diane. Okay, so I do need to glue this together. I use two different kinds of chipboard. This is the Damask chipboard. This chipboard is 1.5 millimeter. This is Cricut Heavy Chipboard. This is all by Cricut. This is two millimeter. So I only have one of these. Because this is thinner, I wanted to use two. And then I made a stand for this to go in. So it's just circles. And then I added, I only have four circles in these sizes. But because I was messing and I already had these, I think it's better with another circle. So I, these are the exact same size circles, the bottom ones. They're the exact same size. And these are going to go in here. But I'm going to glue these together first. Probably going to do that first and let that dry a little bit. And then I'll show you how this works together. So, okay, let's put these to the side because I'm going to show you. So then I had this one. And I've been playing with this a lot. <laughs> I had this one stuck in here and it goes all the way through to all of those. Thanks for subscribing. And then I, I'm very busy today. I cut this out and put on there for the tree. And I'm looking at this and I'm looking at this one. I have them both standing up. They're all put together. I took them apart so I could show you how to do it. And I'm like, I like this. This is too pretty. This is plain. Although, I also had the idea, if you have my file with the rosettes I did the other day, um, maybe it was Thursday or Saturday, I don't remember what day it was, but it was rosette ornaments. If you don't, if you take half of that rosette and put it on here and then put the other half on the other side, it would look like a tree skirt. Wouldn't that be pretty? So you could like do half of a rosette, stick one half here, and the other half on the other side. That would be really pretty too. So I went ahead and cut another one out. Actually, this one goes here and this one goes here. Um, and this one looks so much prettier. Doesn't this look pretty? That is just so pretty. It looks like a tree skirt. You don't have to do any decorating to it, just as it is. Um, so you have two files. For the people who support me on Patreon, the YouTube members, everybody with the little cricket badge on YouTube, and my Facebook fan supporters who have a little supporter badge, you guys have these files. There's two different files. I had to do two different files because of the thickness. So I had to make these holes to fit the thickness of the trees. Now, if you need to change the size, I'm gonna to have to show you how to do that because you don't wanna change the size of these holes. Let me take you over to the and in the file, there's also a black circle. That black circle is just used as a size uh, to fit, so you know that it will fit. I'm gonna show you with these ornaments. It, there's plenty of room for this to fit. Um, let me take you over to the file. Let me find the file, here's one. Oh, welcome new member Brianna. Um, for the YouTube members, you go to my, my YouTube channel page and click on community and you have special ones there. Okay, let's go to design space. I don't know what you guys can see over here. Okay. Um, let me move this over. So there, in each of these files, there's two different files. This is the one for the chipboard 
because I added these. This is also in the other one too, but it's hidden. So I would cut two of these, one for each side, because this whole project can be double-sided. And I have hidden here, okay, this one was for the little part there, because there's a little extra part. Is it, let me see if it's this purple one. No, the purple one is for two layers of the damask, the 1.5, it's this one. Okay, you will need, if you're going to resize, this is the size, oh, that's only the size of one. Oh yeah, this is the size of the chipboard. Yep, that's right. Um, what you need to do, like, let's pretend you need to change the size of this and you're gonna make it smaller. You would grab, hold on, let's hide this. You could select all, make it all a little smaller. Okay, let's look, I wanna look at this. So if your ornament was only like 3.2 inches, then this would work in there. If you had a smaller ornament and you wanted it all smaller, that's okay to do that. But we're gonna bring this back out. We can't change the size of this or the tree will not fit in there. We can change the size of it you have to unlock and keep this length, but change this size so it matches the tree. But this is all if you have to have a different size. And what you do is contour, take that out, and then place this back. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and do it. So we're going to keep that one eighth and move it so it fits there. I'm gonna put it here. We're gonna grab it. We're gonna align it. We're gonna center it. And we're gonna slice it. So that's how we got that, okay? So if you have to change the size for any reason, I really wouldn't. And I wanna make sure I don't save this. So I'm gonna to go to new. Don't save, <laughs> otherwise your projects will be messed up. Okay, let's go back over and put it together. And thank you for those of you who are answering questions. If you don't have the maker and you wanna make this, you can cut out, and it's even in a setting in Design Space, you can cut out cereal boxes. Now, um, you probably want to put the colored side of the cereal box facing inside, but you can cut out cereal boxes and put a few of them together and see if it fits one of these. I would just do the smallest test cut and see what you can fit inside these holes. I don't know how many you would need or know what you need to do, but I think it's completely possible. Or if you need the hole a little bigger, you can you could shrink this down a little bigger, a little smaller maybe. I don't know, you'd have to practice and do some test cuts. So our, which one do we wanna to put together first? Oh, let's glue this first, just so the glue dries. And I lost my glue, there it is. Okay. Yeah, the chipboard is from Cricut and there's links below for everything. And I'm gonna make sure I get glue around the outer edge of all of this. Now this is thinner chipboard, so the thicker chipboard, I'm not putting two together, we're just doing it to this one. You don't want to use hot glue here 
because it'll be too thick and we would need to make the hole a little bigger, which is possible. You can do it. So make sure it's all put together. I like to grab like each branch, each thing, make sure it's kind of even. Flip it over and look at the other side. Smash it together, especially down here. Oh, let me make this a little more even. Now, if you want to, you could paint the edge of this white. I'm not gonna paint it, I think it's fine. But you could paint the edge so it's not the chipboard look. Okay, let's put this one together first. Well, I gotta glue this one too. Although I can, I think it'll be easier to glue while it's down. If you hear snoring, it's Kobe or Carly. They both snore. I only hear one of them. So I just cut this out of glitter paper. And this tree, before I cut all this part out, was a free shape. It's in Craft Room Basics. It's a free cartridge for everybody. Everybody has that free cartridge, whether they have access or not. This is harder to get on. So when putting this on, start down here in this corner and then kind of go out and get it even. Oh, see, it's not even here. It's just because it has such a big opening here. Well, I think we're dry, so we're going to be good enough. This is the exact same cut as this. Got to get it better before the glue dries. The more glue you put on, the easier you can move it. I never put enough glue on, so it takes longer to dry. Okay, and... I think it's going to be prettier on this one, don't you guys think, instead of this? I think so. We're going to use this one. So this one has a cross in it because after I had this together, I thought I feel like I need to make it a little more stable. So I made these things and they will go up to it just like that and it'll sit in these little sides here. Thank you for answering the questions. If you guys have questions, people in the chat are answering. I'm using art glitter glue. Actually, I'm gonna put the pin back in it. So it doesn't dry out. 
So you have to put the smallest one on first. And I'm not sure exactly which one it is of this one. And you have to kind of work the first one in. And this one has been in and out so many times. And then we're just going to stack them all in. See if I can keep separating it because I've done it too many times. This is one I was test cutting so much with. And part of the trick of getting it in is to not put it straight in, but to bend like one of these up a little more and it will go in better. Like it almost makes the opening just a little bit more for it. And before you cut all these, I would cut one well, I would cut the smallest one just so you're not using all your stuff and make sure it fits your chipboard. Let's see this one I've done. We're not taking this one off again. I've taken this on and off a lot. Do we have any questions? See people answering questions about the maker. Who here has the maker? Yes, I keep a pen in the glue to keep it from clogging. There we go. See, I'm pushing one side down on this to get it in better, because I like the tight fit. Oh man. This one's gone through the ringer today. We're almost there. I don't really need it through all the way on that one though. Because you want this um, kind of even with the bottom one. Now I got it so tight, it doesn't want to move. See, this chipboard is getting worn out at the end. I've been doing it too many times. There we go. I pushed it in too far. Now I pushed it out again. Oh well. 
I've done it like four times. The first four times, it did perfect. So that's like that. And then we're gonna put these little pieces in these little holes. Now you can glue these in. Whoops, that didn't stay. Because my thought was to glue these in. But that will keep it like that. And I'll, I have a side camera. I'll show you. You guys can't see that very well. So we're going to add some glue to the star. This, you can't do a huge loop. Like this had a huge loop on it. So I just cut it and retied it to make it smaller. And I'm going to show you this way. So I'm just gonna put this around like that. And you can use a hook too or something. So then it holds your, let me go to my other camera. Careful, I don't know what you're gonna see. <laughs> there we go. Isn't that cute? Okay, now here, I got these little red dots. These are like from years ago. You can decorate the tree. Whoops. If you can get them on there. You could add gems or anything you want to the tree. Isn't that cool? And if you have a really cool, um, it's not sitting up straight because I don't have this on. I will with the next one. I know it will. This one was used a lot more. Um, or hey, if you want to have a disco, when this is straight, it was sitting completely straight. But if it's hitting the bottom too, you can make the loop a little tighter up here so it's more at the top. Isn't that cute? I like it. And it doesn't, this is, I don't have this even at the bottom because I've worn that out so much. And I'm not going to glue it because I, I might have to redo this tree. But you could glue these edges. You could even pull this one up higher if you really. I like to not glue it, and the reason is because then you can put it away flat. You can take all these and lay it flat for storage. But I also, because I was checking earlier to make sure we could do this, you could pull this up like this and you could hot glue this if you wanna hot glue that down there and hot glue that on and then push that down and you'll it'll be very, very stable. Isn't that cool? Uh, would it hold? I don't know Waterford ornaments. This one is kind of heavy. I think it would hold pretty heavy ones, especially with these. You don't even have to use these. It's doing fine. But if you have a heavy piece, I made these little triangles and they have little slots here to put them in. And you might want to hot glue those in if you have something really heavy and that would stand that up perfectly. And you can make it double-sided. I just didn't cut the other side of glitter paper. All right, let's do the next one. I really like the next one. We'll just push that one there. So this is the next one. Okay, so you always have to put 
the smallest one on first. And if you want to add more, you can cut out more of these circles. You could cut out two of this size. You can fit a lot on there. That's going on a little easier. Of course, it won't keep going on easier because I said that. And I'm going to go ahead and put, this is another one I... This is the same size as the bottom. I think if you have a heavier ornament, you might want to do two of the bottom ones just to hold it better for you. So put that on and put that straight like that. And this one also has these little pieces. There. Now, I made a little star. You can do star. I would put, I would cut two stars and put them back to like one here and then one on the back too. You guys can't see that very well. Hold on. Oh, now you can't see the bottom. I like that star. I'm putting it on. And then I have an ornament for this one. Oh, see that circle went way too big. It's probably going to do that. It's not tied real good. Let's see if we can do it. See, wants to fall. See? Let me move it back. Isn't that cool? Let me put this paper behind it so you can see it better. Do you like it? That was really easy to put together once it's cut. Oh, and I have to tell you, oh look it! Can you see the the you know like it's a disco ball? See behind it? That's cool. Um, I like disco balls. <laughs> How long to cut with the maker of the knife blade? It doesn't really take a really long time to cut. Maybe um, 30 minutes or so. Um, yeah, I think about mm -hmm, average about 30 minutes. The damask chipboard there's not a setting for it in design space yet so i've asked for that and i could, couldn't wait on them so i cut it on the matte board there's matte board for ply so i cut it on that and then i cut it three times more so if you cut it on the matte board when you're using the knife blade if you hit the c button on the machine to cut again it will only go around one time it doesn't recut the entire thing it only adds one cut and so i did two cuts and it didn't quite cut through all the way it was usable i used my it just i used my true control knife it just didn't cut completely through to the other side, but almost, I mean, it was just like paper thin. So I cut it three times. So using the Damask 1.5 millimeter chipboard, I used it on mat board and added three cuts. On the chipboard, I used the heavy chipboard setting just as it was, and that cut just fine too. So here's my two trees. 
my disco balls. I mean, I wouldn't make these trees to display these ornaments, to be honest. I would use these trees to display more important <laughs> ornaments. You know, something you really want stand out, maybe a memorial one or, you know, something different. But I had these and just wanted to show um, that they fit. Yeah. Oh, these are the colors on your tree. They're going to be on my tree, too. I have a white tree that I keep outside all year round. And last year it was all teal. And this year it's going to be teal and purple and pink and some other fun things. Yeah, works like a mirror. Okay, let's... So there it is from above. But isn't that pretty? And this one, it doesn't take any extra, I mean, it's just, I had to cut two of them just because I wanted to make sure it was extra sturdy. And it really doesn't take long at all to put together. These aren't wooden, they're just chipboard. Claire Hill is saying, Melody, could you cut and sell the wooden pieces to those of us without the maker? I can't do that because I don't have time to do that. I don't sell anything. But if anybody wants to, you can do that. You can sell pieces because it's really easy to put together. And I think it would be so pretty. Let me flip over. With this, instead of that green paper, I want to try it with this. Wouldn't that be cool? I just think that'd be so cool. But this is, the tip, chipboard is already decorated like this. And then I used a different design on the other side. With the damask chipboard, you get five different designs. And I would put another star over here too. But this has just gluing the two pieces together. There's no glue done here, and it's standing out perfectly great. So after Christmas, you could take this apart and store it away easier. Yeah, this is from the Mystic. I'm going to use this tomorrow in my project. Are there any questions? And this is, um, um, I used the Christmas tree in Craft Room Basics. It's Craft Room Basics. Do you guys want to see it? I know I've showed it before, but, you know, not everybody watches every single video. Um, it's a free cartridge, free for absolutely everybody. Even if you don't have a machine, it's free. <laughs> so I'm clicking on images. And then I'm gonna click on cartridges. And I'm gonna search basic. And craft, Cricut Craft Room Basics. This is free for everybody. There's 27 images. There's also shadows for each one. So this is the tree I used, and then I did a lot of slicing and dicing and welding, and this took three days to make that cut up for this tree. Um, there's a pumpkin butterfly. Oops. Let me bring these in to show you. Now, in the layers panel, when you're using Cricut images, always look in the layers panel. And fonts, there's hidden things. Look. If you want, you could just use the background. If you don't want such a sharp um, edge. So there's lots of stuff you can do with these. Okay, 
Do you have questions? Yeah, all the links for all of the supplies I used, even for the glue gun I didn't use, it's in the description below. Um, I think you can change the paper settings if you have items that are small enough to fit on it. The Explore 2 cannot cut this chipboard. It can cut um, cereal box. Uh, I said in the beginning, you might have missed it. Um, do some test cuts of cereal boxes with this and see. You might have to just put three of them together. It might be four of them and see if it fits inside one of the things I already have set up. And I have two files. So one is for the 1.5 millimeter chipboard and one is for the 2.0 millimeter chipboard. Now the one for the 2.0 chipboard, let's go over here. Um, so this is the 1.5 and we doubled the tree, glued that together. This one is for the two millimeter chipboard and I cut the 1.5 millimeter chipboard for the base. It doesn't matter what you cut the base from, it doesn't have to be, but the chipboard of this part has to be the two millimeter chipboard. But the base, you can cut the 1.5. So I did the decorative base. I used the chipboard from here for the base of that one because it just looked prettier than just the chipboard looks more like a pretty skirt. How tall is the tree? Hmm, that's a great question. Let me see. <laughs> I hope this works. Where's my other rulers? With the star on it, it is just under 12 inches. It's like three, I mean 11, and three-fourths inches. Yes, I use the knife blade. You can also use a uh, thick cardstock and just put a lot of levels together. So if you're gonna use chipboard or anything else, um, I would cut out the two millimeter because this tree, because I doubled it, is actually three millimeter thick. This one is two millimeter. So if you're using, um, you guys should save your cereal boxes. You can use that cardboard. Uh, if you're doing that or doing paper, I would go for the two point and just do some test cutting and see how it works. Thank you, Sheila. All right, are there any other questions? I'm not seeing any more questions. Oh, we gotta put the pin in my glue. And like I said, you can decorate it. I could decorate this by putting these on, these little stickies. You can put any color you want. This one, this is Damask Chipboard by Cricut, and it's 1.5 millimeter. This one is Chipboard that is 2 millimeter, and they're both by Cricut. I don't know how thick the Cricut craft board is, if that's what you're... If, you're actually talking about the craft board. Um, 
The craft board you could probably use, but you'd have to um, maybe try four of them glued together. Shauna on Facebook. Shauna Knight says, I love this. My mom is in a nursing facility and no trees allowed. So this would be perfect for her room. It would be for people who can't um, have trees. You could totally do that. Oh, okay. The backs of the cardstock, Cricut cardstock comes, actually it comes with chipboard in the back of all the new paper packs. You can use that new paper packs. I think you can cut it in your Explorer and maybe glue, cut one of these out. Just cut one of the smallest ones out so you're not wasting a lot and see what fits in there. You may have to glue a few of these together and then glue, get, um, Actually, just cut some squares together and glue them together and see what fits in here if you don't have the maker. And then try to get it in the slot to stand up. You can do it. But first try with just cutting the small piece and cutting a square and see how many you need to glue together to fit. Okay, Sheila, great question. What did I say about the settings for the 1.5 board? So there is a setting. Um, let me show you what I did. We're going to pretend we're cutting this out of chipboard. Oh, yeah, just disconnect. I was using a different browser. Okay, so we need to browse material settings. And it's actually this artboard. See, there's cereal box. Um, so I use this mat board for ply. So I'm going to click that. And um, this cuts it, I think, seven or eight times it goes. And then I hit the button. Let me show you what button I hit. Whoops. Oh, let me turn this one off. Let me turn this up. So this is the load button and this is the cut button. When it's done, this load button may be blinking, but with the knife blade, if you cut this button, it will only cut one more time. It won't redo all eight cuts. It'll just cut one time. So what I did is cut that um, three more times. I took it out sooner and I had to cut it with a knife blade. With the true control because it wasn't done yet. Um, the pattern for this is on Patreon, if you support me on Patreon, and it's in my YouTube community, if you support me on YouTube community, you can see the people in the chat that do, they have a little cricket badge next to their name, and I also have Facebook fan supporters that have a little badge next to them, they also get it too. So if you, on Patreon, for just $2 or more, you get... I almost said thousands, but it's there's over 200. I stopped counting at like 225, and I just keep adding more designs. So they're my design space files. They're not SVGs. They can only be used in design space. And I use Cricut images. That's the only way I can share. This one, I used all free images, so it won't charge you. Some designs have access images so you either have to have access or you have to pay for the design or delete the things it's paying you charging you for lisa marie is trying to purchase the maker and won't let me use her code 
okay, my code does not work on anything that plugs in. It won't work on that, but you can use a free shipping code. I think it's December ship. And if you have access, you do get 10% off everything you buy. All right, guys, I think that's it. If you have more questions, go ahead and ask them in the comments. And I will try to answer them as soon as I can. I have some more testing and stuff to do for tomorrow's video. It's going to be a really cool project. Let's hope. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You guys are amazing. Thanks, and have a wonderful night. Love you guys. Bye.